This is Stephen Middleton here with head coach of the women's basketball team, Joe Matthews. Coach, it's no secret that you all have had a very tough offseason to hopefully improve your record and have a really good season this year. Uh, what was your main focus this offseason? Well, several things. First, I thought uh, we needed to improve upon our, our unity uh, and our leadership, uh, our understanding of what it takes to be successful and win and, and really be committed. So we've done some things out of the box a little bit, uh, working with a training program called D-Program, a military consulting firm that came in and worked with our kids for a couple of days to going on a retreat, getting some time away, do some team bonding, some team building, really trying to identify who those leaders will be, leading up to where we are today, heading into our first scrimmage and really focus on making these scrimmage games as difficult as they possibly can be in terms of level of competition. We don't want our opener, Western Kentucky, to be the best team we've played to that date. It's obvious that you all want to have a good year and you want all of your uh, girls to play well. But are there any females that you're looking uh, to have a breakout season this year, be a breakthrough performer? Hopefully a lot, actually. Um, it, it's been an interesting dynamic. We have a lot of seniors. Uh, we have five seniors and, and five freshmen. We actually have 14 players on the roster, one junior, two softs, and the rest are freshmen and seniors. So it's been an interesting dynamic so far. But I think every single one of the returners really has something to prove. I think if you go down the list individually, they all either felt like they, they did not perform to the level of their ability last season, or this is their opportunity to really show what they're doing. It's been a combination of those things. If I had to pick a couple of people, I think Kristen Fields may surprise some people this year. She's practiced extremely well. She just hasn't got a consistent opportunity, rather due to injury, people in front of her. Uh, she's in a position that she's comfortable with now. Uh, I'd be really surprised she didn't have a great year. And outside of uh, winning, obviously, what other expectations do you have for this season? Well, I, the winning takes care of itself. Uh, we really break it down into three areas for us game by game, and that's rebounding, turnovers, and, and then free throw game. And we have to win each one of those games individually to be successful. Y y winning's important. You talk about it. It's a culture you set. It's an expectation. It's a standard that you have. Uh, but you got to pay attention to the details uh, day in, day out. So for us, uh, the tangible things are those. Uh, and then you got to pay a little bit of attention to the intangibles and, and making sure we're doing the little things that's right every day and being committed and, and, and making sure that we understand what it means to be a women's basketball player at Towson University and a student athlete at Towson University to be successful. All right. And what uh, does Towson Nation have to look forward to for our home opener on November 19th? Well, hopefully it's, it, it, you'll be proud of a hard-nosed, tough, competitive basketball team that, that believes in defense first and, and will work really hard on that. But uh, hopefully a much improved offensive team, up-tempo, pushing the basketball and really trying to attack. That's, that's going to be our motto for the year. And uh, I think we can be really successful with it. And uh, I look forward to that home opener as well.